Good afternoon, Yapoon and Yapoon High community. Uh, this afternoon, I'm here at our Bod Hall. Our, our Bod Hall is a host of uh, different activities uh, throughout our weeks here at Yapoon High, uh, from our sports centre, which is in, in behind me, through, through to this classroom where uh, we conduct different activities. We, we greet our students and welcome our students through our Mayimba um, care class each morning uh, down here, where students check in for the morning and focusing on their resilience and wellbeing. We also run lots of uh, lunchtime activities through this, um, through this resource as well, including Lunch Rocks program where students come in and decorate rocks and have time with our support staff just to talk through uh, different things that's happening in their lives and a really uh, great way to connect in in a, in a social way with, with adults here. We also run different programs such as um, our Shine program and our Rock and Water program um, through uh, this area down here. And we also have our student parliament come together down here once a week uh, to talk about all the things that our students want uh, happening in our school in, in the use of this great resource down at the BOD. We also have some great news around our A Block facility. Uh, you may have seen in some recent social media that uh, we've received a grant to upgrade our, our science labs in, in A Block. Uh, those labs haven't been touched in, in about 50 years that the school's been here and it's a great opportunity for us to really modernise those labs where our students can participate in experiments using the new gas system that will go in there uh, and have some uh, water activities and those sorts of things to, to conduct those experiments and do some real hands-on learning. Uh, that's due to take place uh, hopefully over the Christmas school holidays and make a start and it will go into term one of 2021. Um, so we hope to limit the disruption to any student learning uh, through that period. But come term two and through 2021, we'll have another fantastic resource up in A Block, which will be a modern science facility for our students to participate in those great learning experiments. This term, we've been focusing in on positive acknowledgements for our students. So since week three, our staff have been making phone calls and emails home to, to parents and, and talking with our students about students of the week and the positive work that's happening in our classrooms. We've been really, um, really happy and astounded with the, the feedback that we're getting from parents around um, how great that news is that they're receiving uh, that student of the week for, for their young person. It's something that sometimes schools don't um, take time to do is, is reach out and have those positive conversations with parents around their, their progress and improvement of their students. And in the roughly seven to eight weeks that we've been running this, we've had over 850 um, records of contact home from par to parents um, acknowledging that great work that their students are doing in, in their classes. I will be throwing out a challenge to our staff in, in term four to see whether we can crack that 1,000 mark. So how good would it be to have 1,000 uh, positive com communications going home um, in term four around uh, the great work students are doing in classrooms. Through term three, we've also been engaging in uh, student versus teacher games. So there's been some touch football and netball games and futsal will come on the last day of school on, on Friday. Um, it's been a great opportunity for myself to connect in with not only our staff members, but connecting with our students as well in a, in a very informal way and, and be able to have some great conversations in around what Yipun High School is like and where students would like to see the school go in the future. As a staff team, we've been dialing in on what, in, what engagement looks like in our classroom. And we're using a, a design framework called Engagement by Design um, by Neil Fisher and using his work to really guide our work around how do we connect in with students and form positive relationships? How do we make our learning really clear for our students? And then also, what are their high yield strategies and what are the strategies that are gonna make our students learn the most in, in, inside a classroom? This is really early days and I'm looking forward to working with staff uh, through term four to unpack what this means for us at Yapoon High. And that means when we get into 2021, we'll have a really solid teaching and learning framework that will base, around our, base our lessons around to ensure every student succeeding. I'd like just to say a big thank you to Yapoon State High School and the Yapoon High community for, for welcoming me uh, to the school this term. It's been, a, it's been a very big term, lots of learning for myself, but I've been very welcomed um, and felt right at home uh, here at Yapoon. So I'm very much uh, thankful for that and looking forward to a, a great term forward with you all. But for now, um, have a safe holiday and we look forward to seeing you back next term. Thank you.